Right. Hello, everybody. Uh, so my name is Robin, um, and I put myself in brackets at the end because I did the idea that these lovely people did all the work, really, and they've all gone. So, um, <laughs> so, so this is eResas, which is about emergency access to guidelines. So I'm a, emergency, a doctor. I work in a children's hospital uh, in Bristol, and we have unexpected emergencies. People come in with very ill children, um, and we rapidly need to know what to do. Um, the problem that we have with that is that then you need to log into the computer, which takes a long time. And then finally, when you get in, then you have to start navigating on DMS, uh, which is a horror. Um, so uh, that was me trying to do it on the train, so it's not entirely up to that. Um, so we have a solution which has been developed uh, by a doctor, and doctors are very good at uh, Finding solutions not optimal. Um, so we're using PowerPoint, and we've used it for, I mean, probably 10 years actually, um, and it works works really well. It's called PZ Resus, and it's a PowerPoint that uh, runs. I'll show you in a minute, um, and it's, it's designed to be used by shaky fingers in gloves um, at four in the morning, or if you stab the button that says resuscitation guidelines. Uh, or medical emergencies, and then you stab the button that says anaphylaxis, and then you get the information you want. You don't get a 10 page PDF, you get a flowchart. Um, now, uh, that's the pages, and this is, a, this is a picture I was using actually. So there is, there's the touch screen, um, and there's the bed for the sick kids, and there's the iPad uh, that sits on the nurse's station. Uh, and this is actually what prompted this is the nurses have an iPad and they sit where the camera is, because uh, they're making up the drugs. Um, and they want to be able to use it too, but they can't, because it's an iPad, and it doesn't like the PowerPoint, and it's not so. So this is part of that problem, and the ridiculous solutions were developed. In fact, having a virtual computer somewhere showing the PowerPoint, being streamed like <laughs> craziness, right? You know. Okay, so, um, and another problem, is the technical debt because this is the resource is a million PDF, uh, a million PowerPoints all linked very carefully together back. So if you want to add a new one, it's a nightmare. Um, so the team assembled and they built using a React app to um, load in Markdown files and then post it on um, GitHub. So uh, the only problem with this is that it turns out GitHub is blocked by our trust, which is a little bit annoying. So we have a really good working example as long as you're not on the trust view system. Um, but the, it still works, uh, we just have to find somewhere else to host it. Um, so this is the web version of eResource, and it works. So it looks the same, which is good because doctors fear change. Um, uh, and it again has similar single button. You click a button, you get the list, uh, and then it gives you your guideline as a single thing. So we've done the first tranche of uh, the resuscitation guidelines, so the simple ones, uh, and they are written and as marked down. So the code's built, it's documented well, the guidelines have been converted for the resource ones, and the way that it's been developed is that it's forkable, so other, because the problem, People have, loads of other hospitals have asked me for our PDF, uh, for our PowerPoint, because they want to use it. I'm like, don't use our PowerPoint, this is awful. Um, but this could be forked, and then they could put their own markdown in. Um, and then they'd have their own guidelines entirely accessible, uh, probably hosted on like Netlify or something like that. And that's it. Thank you very much. So the, that's part, so I'm the governance lead for the department, and I know that it, our, our, our PowerPoint version is really out of date because it's such a high barrier to updating it. Mm. The point about these is it's very easy, and the PowerPoint is on, we have multiple computers, right, in recess, several bays, 
and, it, and you have to make sure the same is on each one. But if it's a web, once you've updated it, it's updated everywhere. And the, the beauty of it being on GitHub is that you can add, like, a, you can make changes and then accept them, can't you? That, that is the idea, that you can then add comments and improve them. So we don't actually have a, it's not a full DMS, right, with dates at which things have to be updated. They are referenced of this is based upon this guideline of this date, but I mean, it can't be perfect. Any other questions from judges? See it? Does it have to be connected to the internet to work? It does at the moment, which is a point. It <laughs> could be made that it doesn't, because I think we chose not, they talked they talked about whether the React app has the markdown inside it or outside it, and they put it outside it, but it could quite easily be in. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Oh. Any other questions from the judges? Okay. Um, Rachel? Be anywhere for it. So the, certainly the guidelines that are on there at the moment are national guidelines, so they are publicly available. Mm -hmm. So the CPR and stuff is completely open for everybody. I don't think there's any danger of being there, and it's not. Is, is, there, is there a way of making it sort of more international, so that they can look at what guidelines are like across the, the globe? Uh, well, I suppose, I mean, to be honest, the ones that are on there are, are international because they're ill-core. Um, I think what the, the thing that would be interesting is how you could how you could have because other every hospital does in slightly different ways. You could put and, it in the hospital, right? And just say I'm in Bristol. Yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. You could try and make it for everybody. Um, I'm just thinking about the one hospital at the moment. <laughs> does anybody know why um, GitHub would be blocked on the NHS? You could run scripts that could circumvent. <laughs> 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 it's, it's even worse, it's only certain parts of GitHub are blocked. Okay. So you can see the code, but you can't see the hosted code. So just quietly, the other thing, the lovely thing about GitHub is that you've got branches, right? So yeah. you can have your master name, whatever you call it, main branch, which has got your guidelines, which are in production that everybody uses. But then you could be developing new ones all the time, which might be in development. To be honest, most guidelines are based on, well, this place has got a really good guideline, we'll like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm curious, in the same way about how resilient is the internet connection? Can you just say, how, your question is how resilient is this information? No, the internet yeah. connection. So, okay. th this, this is a. Uh, um, this actually is, a, I mean, this is a hardwired computer, so it's got a network port in and it's pretty good. And it's not 100%, I mean, the whole, the whole trust lost internet for uh, 48 hours a month ago, which was not optimal. <laughs> 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 but I'm assured we're getting a, a second internet supplier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back up. Yeah. Um, Sorry? You could use your mobile phone, couldn't you, if it was available? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Just, this is more of a thought. Um, if you want to implement this quickly, which it sounds like you're the owner of this product, I think you could do something, and this way you don't have to write any code, uh, I think you could do something like Notion or Confluence to build a no-code solution uh, that does a lot of this that you could do, like, starting next week. Mm. That I think this is an awesome idea, but I think you could go and you could do it and it could be owned largely. I mean, I think they've done it. I mean, to be honest. It is, I mean, it's done. It's, it's done. done. This is all done. I mean, all, I just need to write more we'll markdown. Mm. Yeah, it's all done. It, the issue is that he knows that the hosting in GitHub, which 
James, I was speaking to earlier, was like delighted, it's great, we've got it up there and whatever, and now you must have tested it yeah. from the and said actually that isn't compatible. So there, it's just the hosting is the only thing that they're there's, there's a very good paper yeah. that has a worst effect of, do you want a dead patient or me to share my password? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that has a commentary about um, uh, NHS trusts and security. 